here today with Jeremy Dale, lead animator and wrench wielding guy. Mm, spanner. Spanner, excuse me. Spanner. Spanner wielding guy. Uh, once we've determined what the signature weapon for a given class will be, uh, trying to make that unique and uh, looking like so you can spot him from a distance. Uh, and uh, what we end up doing is sometimes we'll try and go through and either, uh, you know, this is the one department that doesn't really get concept art. So what we end up trying to do is uh, figure out what we want him to look like. Uh, what kind of, is he going to be finessey? Is he going to be uh, very powerful? And uh, in the case of the Zealot, uh, I did some quick sketches to indicate like how I wanted him to be a little more hunched, a little more feral, because I want him, uh, in, the, in the concept, he's standing there with a, with a skull and a dagger. And so we're trying to go for the, you know, uh, buzzard-like, uh, you know, crazy, insano dude. So uh, at, at that point, the best way to actually figure out what you're going to do is to kind of do it. So it's props are very important, uh, picking up things, feeling their weight, feeling their heft, moving around with them. Uh, and if you could basically, ideally, if I'm having even more trouble with it, uh, get some help and uh, you know try and work through some of the motions. Help, you say? Yes. Huh. So once we've gathered enough reference footage and we kind of know where we're heading for the thing, it's time to basically start bringing stuff out of the computer. Um, we'll take the models that we've gotten from the character artists. Uh, we'll uh, have them set up with you know all the hundreds of bones that they need, uh, and then basically begin roughing out the motions. So uh, blocking in what we've got and then looking at those, throwing them into the game, making sure that everything's working together properly, and then basically going back and refining and refining that as we go along. So once we've got the, the guy in the uh, computer here, um, this is a very kind of pared down version of uh, just all the beard things represent uh, what we could end up having. Uh, so we need to make sure that those things are animated properly so that once you do end up getting something, the Zealot's going to be crazy mountain man, uh, looking so we need to make sure that we've got the beard and the ponytail covered when we animate. Uh, but essentially what I can do is I can just come in here and grab a body part and rotate it around, uh, go up and down the hierarchy and continue doing the same thing. So um, we come in and do that and then try and hit the, uh, the base poses that we want to get. So maybe he's a little sad, maybe he's a little crazy, but uh, post him in, into this motion and then uh, He's got his skull, he's got his dagger, he's just chilling out. And then he can come in here, he can be a little angry. So this is getting more into the, uh, the kind of, like I was saying, feral pose. This, again, is, is something that we don't want uh, if, if in the game, you know, you have a bandit that gets given a dagger, uh, he's not going to assume this pose. This is only the zealot. So, for him, he's got a couple swings. doing some stuff to where trying to flip the knife around, doing some interesting things with the weapons as he attacks. So uh, once you've actually gone and you've generated all the actual uh, animation assets themselves, uh, how do you actually get them into the game? Uh, basically we just use uh, kind of off-the-shelf products to uh, structure the data, to organize it. And uh, we've got a pretty organized system. Uh, it's uh, actually not all that difficult to uh, get the things into the game. Uh, so the way that I've set up the things is that uh, essentially here uh, we've got like the Empire mail set.
So, and here we have the zealot, all ready to go, pulling the pie out of the oven, running around with his dagger. That, don't mind that big guy who's running around in the background. So here you see the set for the zealot, essentially. This is uh, currently the Empire Dagger set. Uh, we'll rename that later once we got it fixed and then we can cut that, whatever. Um, so here we've got basically 100 motions just using the dagger and skull. Uh, we put these in here and then basically carry those across to the other sheets that are, uh, are necessary so that we know what race you are, what weapons you're holding, what current state you're in, and then uh, we export these and put them in the game. So here's the uh, final result of what we just saw Jeremy walking through. This is an actual zealot. And that's all you get to see for now. So if none of the uh, stuff that just came out of Jeremy's mouth makes any sense at all, don't worry. Uh, it almost never makes sense to us either, which is why we actually post these all around his office. Uh, he speaks a language unique to himself, Jeremy's. Uh, part of it is techno babble. part of it is strange references to movies that only Jeremy has seen. Uh, a lot of the time it's just the fact that he only speaks in pronouns most of the time. Uh, so if you're feeling confused, don't worry. Uh, you're just like the rest of us.